Round one, the semifinals, Sabunka and Sitko, and David Chuck against Brockman. Both cars capable of six-second passes. I suspect they'll be in the 200-mile-an-hour range, and it should be a good one right off the bat. These guys have uh, dialed in pretty good with some practice sessions all day. Thumbs up from Steve Sitko out of Edmonton, Alberta. 92 Arctic chassis, go by Ken Sitko. Keith Black is the power, and Dave Sabunka out of Edmonton, Alberta, covered up there. 90 Brad Claridge chassis, Keith Black power as well. His brother, Harold, the crew chief, on the automobile. Sitko's going to light him up for the first time here on Raceline this afternoon with the burnout to get those tires nice and tacky. Doesn't really appear that either lane has any advantage. Watching no. the practice sessions, they both appeared fairly equal. And here you get a look. It'll be Sabanka in the left lane. Sitko to our right. And the reaction time, uh, a reaction light rather, a four tenths light here in Calgary. As opposed to the five tenths light. Both are pro trees as Dave Sabanka gets his burnout all complete. Everybody's got different styles of doing the burnout. Some of the top fuel guys that we know, like Kenny Bernstein, take very conservative short burnouts. Other guys like Sean Forrest and Funny Cars like to blaze it halfway down the drag strip. Everybody has their own idea about how to do the burnout. Of course, the longer ones also wear out the parts, too. Also interesting to watch how they back up, too. Uh, some will come right back down the line that they just uh, took off mm -hmm. on, and others will be a little off kilter for whatever reason. Backing in slowly, and as you mentioned, Ron, everybody's got their own style of doing things, just trying to get that advantage over the guy in the other lane, and they'll try just about anything. Dave Sabanka in the left-hand lane, Steve Sitko in the right-hand lane, both capable of coming off the line with some very good reaction times. And again, we're looking for 200-mile-an-hour passes here. Both of these gentlemen from Edmonton, Alberta. As you mentioned, Ron, this is a national open, so they're coming from all over points of Western Canada and the U.S. as well. And they get a fair amount of experience up there in Edmonton as well with the new Drake strip. Pre-staging is done. Let's see who gets in here first. Sit goes in first. Savanka off the line first, though, with a 448 reaction in the left-hand lane. Good drag race, and Steve Sitko will take the win. 663 with a 4, 201.07 miles an hour. Reaction time was the slower of the two, but he comes up with the win at the top end. Losing time, by the way, for Sabanka, 675 at 204. He saw our camera give a little applause there. There's the telemetry on the Mopar scoreboard. So Steve Sitko comes up with the first win of the afternoon. The crowd liked that. These dragsters are very popular, Ron. Have a look at the replay here. The Sitko car near lane leaving just a wee bit late. 448 again, reaction on the far side, 464 here. Here's John Massingberg. Well, congratulations, Steve, a 663. Thank you very much. Uh, felt good. 63 in the heat of the day is not a bad shot. Uh, can you tune it up for the next round? Uh, I think we got a little bit left in it, yeah. That's, uh, for me, that's a career best, so I'm pretty happy with it. Double congratulations then. 63 ain't bad at all. Nope. Let me ask you, Steve, what's the track like? Anything coming up out of the track? Is there lots of traction uh, out there? It felt pretty good. It wasn't too bad. We uh, lowered our RPM today from yesterday because of the heat, but uh, it's, it's sticking pretty good. Good luck. Go get them. Thanks a lot.